I just had a very strange problem on my Mark III Supra. The uh, gauge for coolant temperature uh, just spiked randomly. Um, I'm sitting in the garage, car is idling for a little while, didn't notice anything strange, troubleshooting uh, a rough idle, and all of a sudden the uh, temp gauge spikes. Well, that's strange. So, um, went around out front, nothing looked strange, didn't look like anything was was uh, hot, didn't feel hot. So, um, I unplugged the sender and checked the resistance and it seemed outrageously high. Um, verified with the ECU connector, or with the ECU sensor, um, that the temperature was normal. So I'm going to demonstrate here. You can see the gauge now. Uh, low temperature, it's unplugged. I'll plug it in, you can see it spike high. Okay, there it goes, so it responds rather quickly. Um, engine's been off for 20 minutes now, so obviously it's not actually that hot. Uh, looks like the temp sender uh, has gone bad, so I can replace that. I may replace the whole thing with a new gauge, um, because the stock temp gauge is just not that reliable. Um, point proven, I suppose. So there you go. Um, I'll move the camera around and show you which connector it is out front. Uh, but uh, that's what it looks like when a 7M GTE temp sender goes bad. Uh, the GE should look just about identical. Alright, so here's uh, showing the connectors here. Uh, this is the ECU's temperature sender. Um, so I'm going to unplug this just to get it out of the way. Uh, this harness is my own, crea my own creation, so uh, if, you're, if you have factory wiring, it won't look quite like this. Let's see if we can get the multimeter visible. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, this is the combination gauge or the gauge cluster temp sender. So, I'm going to unplug that. And the engine's been off for a little while. Radiator is warm, but not too hot. I can hold my hand on it. Um, so we're going to go to ground, and you can use anything. I'm just going to use that since you can see it. And then we'll go to the terminal there. So 26.5, that's supposed to be about the max that that would ever be. That's um, above boiling. That should represent 240F, which is obviously not what we have here. Engine's been off for a little while, engine's not hot, so there you go. That's what a bad sender looks like. And we can verify that because if we go here and check the ECU sender, we can see 650 and oh, let's see if I can leave that in place so that it gives you give you a good reading. Okay, 650. So 650 represents somewhere between 100 and 170 F, which is obviously lower than uh, what we were seeing on the uh, cluster gauge. So there you go. If your temp gauge spikes all of a sudden, check it out first. It might just be a bad sender.